Okay, so now we go to the inside. The door is at the rear of the camper, which also adds to the uh, space inside by making the layout much better. When you come inside, you can see there's just a lot more room than I had before without anybody who saw my iPod. Uh, directly inside, there's a closet for my clothes and storing stuff. And one of the nicest things that I like about this camper is the bathroom. I actually have a real bathroom now. Again, if you saw my old R-Pod, you uh, saw that everything was just in one small little room. Now I actually have a regular bathroom with a nice shower, glass doors, vanity, everything you'd have in a real house. Also has a skylight right above the shower, which is kind of nice. And then there's the rest of the inside, and it is just really quite large. Again, if you saw my old camper, I wouldn't have had my guitar out like that. And as you can see, the entire dinette is in the slide out, so it moves that completely out of the way, giving me just an incredible amount of floor space. Also gives Brandy a lot of floor space as well. The kitchen is a, a little bit different than my other one. I don't have quite as much countertop space, but I'll be able to make that work. It's got a beautiful sink and faucet. The sink is just three times the size of my old sink and uh, th twice as deep, so the water doesn't get everywhere. Nice countertop too. It's not Corian, but it's a kind of a hard plastic material, which is good. Plenty of cabinet space. I still have a Bluetooth radio that I can play my tunes through. Has a microwave, three burner gas uh, stove, and a gas oven, a real oven. Haven't had that in a while. Another nice thing too is I have a, a regular sized refrigerator now. Uh, one thing I did not like about the r -Pod was a tiny little fridge, tiny little freezer. I really couldn't store much of anything. Now I've got basically a full size freezer and a full size refrigerator. <laughs> kind of empty now, but that's because we're getting ready to go away for the weekend. Uh, the bed is located in the back like my last camper, but it's a bit, little bit larger more open around it. It doesn't feel like you closed in. Nice cabinet space above. Also has a nice uh, shelf behind the bed which makes it convenient to store things. The camper is also quite modern in that you can see, I don't know if you can see it there, I'll show you at another spot. It has USB charging ports in two different locations um, where you can charge phones, computers, whatever. There's one on the wall just by my hat there. Kind of convenient. And as you can see, my pup likes it. She's got more room than she had in the last camper. I suppose one of the reasons I did this was because we were constantly on top of each other. And, well, <laughs> really needed the, the extra space. Got some of my wall hangings back up, but I have to buy some more hanging material uh, to get the rest up. But pretty soon I'll have it all uh, home again. Um, so that's about it. I, I said it's got a lot of room, it's got a lot of features that my other one didn't have um, and I think I'm gonna be quite happy in this uh, quite happy. Oh one last thing, it also has a nice big screen TV above the bed um, which also pulls out to, so you can see it in the living room. I'm actually, uh, the TV is actually a temporary right now, the one that came with it was broken. This one's a little bit larger, the other one is about two inches smaller and actually fits up there better. That'll be replaced in a few weeks. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, not much more to show. Hey, Brandy, you want to say bye? Huh? Brandy dressed up for the occasion with her bandana. All right, well, I'm going to sign off. Hope you enjoyed it.